Hello guys, welcome back to Edward RC. So if you are watching this video, I think you should have already completed the build of the ERC time safe CNC machine. Congratulations on that. And all the following video after this will be all about the software. So the first thing you need to do is uh, to flash your Arduino Uno. Just go to Google and search for Arduino. Then head straight to the software page. If you are on Windows, download Windows installer. If you are on Mac, so should download the Mac OS, then install it in your computer. And the next thing you need to download will be the firmware for the Arduino Uno, which is a uh, Robot Tini GRBL Servo. This is a modified modified version of the normal GRBL, uh, which uh, which has a function for a servo uh, control and output. Or you can go to uh, the US to download my my build pack which by clicking download all files, you receive all the required files such as uh, the SDL, 3D files, the software, uh, the firmware. And why I emphasize on uh, downloading from download all files is because for this project, the software wise is, is very particular. For example, if you are using uh, Inkscape 0.92, it will not work correctly for this project as the scaling is different. So probably you have to uh, uninstall 0.92 Inkscape and uh, reinstall uh, 0.91 or you just can just install a new one a new 0.91 at a different directory so the first thing to do just uh, open your arduino and uh, make sure it's properly installed that it's already in your computer so we are sure we have a directory where we can install the library for the modify jbl all right once you have installed arduino ide and downloaded the firmware which is uh, Robotini's uh, 0.9i GRBL firmware for the Arduino Uno. Then go to where your Arduino IDE directory is. In my case, it's uh, Windows C, Program File 66. That means this Arduino is a 32-bit version. Then I look for the Arduino folder. Go to Libraries. Then open the... If, if you have or if you have downloaded the all the packs uh, zip pack from Dingiverse, you can uh, open the zip, then go to files, then uh, look for this Arduino Uno firmware, Robotini 0.9i, double click on it, and you just need to drag this folder into the library of the Arduino directory. And in my case, I already have it installed, so I do not need to uh, paste it uh, or replace it. And uh, you have to make sure in this list, this is the only GRBL firmware you have for Arduino IDE. Because if you have other version of the uh, GRBL uh, for the Arduino, you, you will face issue where your servo is not working. Why I know that is because I've been through that and it has wasted me a lot of time. Because I have other version of GRBL in it and then after I, even though I'm sure, 100% sure that I have selected the 0.9i GRBL uh, by Robertini, my servo is still not working. Why? Because during flashing, Arduino actually get confused and then uh, you, you can see the error from there. You actually get, there's a message that says it, it's not sure which firmware to use and then it just pick randomly. Uh, other It picks other GRBL firmware that doesn't have, uh, that is not modified to control a servo on the Z plus axis. So you have to make sure with that you can download any version of Arduino IDE but you have to make sure that you have only one uh, GRBL which is uh, GRBL ro uh, by Robotini uh, underscore 0.9i firmware in your library. Then open Arduino and go to go to sketch include library and uh, add zip dot library head back to the Arduino directory And libraries and then select this folder open but in my case uh, I do not need to go through this process as uh, Arduino is able to automatically recognize this new library and then uh, once you have done that go to sketch again include library scroll down and confirm that you have the sketch or the firmware added into the Arduino library already now plug in cable to your Arduino Uno and it's all right that the CNC shield is attached to it during flashing, it's still able to flash uh, successfully. Okay, now open your Arduino IDE again. Go to File, Examples, 
scroll down, look for Robotini 0.9i, drop your upload, then go to Tools, select uh, Board Arduino Juno Uno, Juno Uno, then Programmer, select AVR SPMK2, then uh, by now if you have connected your USB to your PC, you have see a new COM port here. So make sure you have selected the right COM port. Just enlarge it a bit. And that's it. Just click upload. So wait for a while. So if without, without issue, this should be able to install in one minute. So as you can see, it's reading. Yep, so it should show FVR dude done. Thank you. Verify, flash verify. So this is if, if there's no issue. So if it takes very long, like it's jammed, like many minutes, then there's something wrong, which I'll uh, do a video in the future. I have uh, faced different issue with this before. As I believe this clone at Arduino Uno uh, tend to have a different uh, quality or, or space of memory in the Arduino that causes some issue during the normal flashing. Close it. If you have successfully installed the Arduino Uno without error, congratulations. And the good news, those who have purchased the light kit, your Arduino Uno and CNC shield will be pre-flashed and also pre-built with the stepper drivers installed, the jumpers installed for 116 micro stepping as well as the jumper wire to power the CNC shield. Now we need to verify whether you have installed the correct firmware into the Arduino Uno or not. Go back to the zip file you downloaded from my Thingiverse. Look for this foam board cutter controller, Jabio controller. That means this is the software to control your, your Arduino for cutting later. Double click, you should find the application file here, install it. And here's a readme that you can go through. So over here it mentions that you have to adjust the parameter you can look for the JPEG over here, the display, uh, what is the parameter, bit, parameter to uh, install. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. So I, I already have the GRBL controller installed and then uh, select the correct COM port again, COM18. And then this is where the important thing comes. So it should show GRBL 0.9i. So this should be the correct uh, firmware. And uh, it will also automatically pop up uh, this parameters over here and uh, you can also do that by keying in the dollar sign twice press enter and then we'll show you all the parameters for this version and as you can see for this version i have already have the par correct parameter change now let's go back to the file i shared with you earlier so the first thing you need to change will be this the step per mm so we got two over here, uh, 100 and 101. We're going to do this first. So how to do that is by keying in the dollar sign, 100 and then 80. So by default this is 250 and I'm changing it to 80. Okay, so it shows the changes here, no error. And again, dollar sign 101, now we're going to change. Uh, 101 will be the Y step, the 100 will be the X step and this change to 80 as well then next one will be with the maximum with the maximum speed allowed so we key in uh, what we change it from uh, 500 the default 500 to 3000 so the involved uh, parameter to change is uh, dollar 110 and dollar 111 so as you can see I've already changed it here as well so I'm gonna do I'm gonna key in dollar one one zero equals three thousand and then dollar one 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 equals three thousand okay no error and the next thing is the acceleration so one the involved parameter is one twenty and one twenty one so in dollar one twenty, uh, we are changing it to uh, from ten, changing it to thirty. Okay, I'll do it again. Okay, goes thirty. 
And what's the next? One, two, one. D1 goes to D. So this parameter is to uh, adjust the acceleration. The stock 10, I find it uh, too slow to... It's like a acceleration uh, tuning for starting from zero to a certain to a set speed. So the default 10, I find it too slow to uh, pick up speed. Let's put it 30, then it will, it will go almost the same speed like the normal the normal cruising speed and uh, after I've changed all these parameters I need to double double I need to key in dollar sign twice again and press enter to verify that uh, the changes uh, is reflected in the parameters as you can see 100 is, and 101 becomes 80 then the max rate becomes 3000 and uh, the acceleration from 10 becomes 30 so regarding the X step, uh, this could be different on your machine. So in the next video, when we fire up the machine, I'm going to show you how to calibrate that uh, with a file that you can create yourself or download from us. Basically, you uh, for example, a 10 cm line and 20 cm line drill in Inkscape, uh, convert it to G code, and then uh, put it into Arduino and uh, let it run and move on your bed surface, and then you measure is that correct is that 10 cm or 20 cm so in my case is 80 and uh, if you, you are using the same uh, drive gear teeth number then it should be the same but i found out uh, another member uh, his correct uh, value is 100 okay so this is regarding so this is about the scaling and then 3000 this is about the cutting speed the speed where the X and Y axis move along the bed. And uh, by default, it's limited at 500. So even if you select 2000 in in the G-code generator, it will still be limited at 500. And uh, the best speed actually for great quality cut is, is at 1500 mm per minute. But I've been cutting it at 2000. So at corners, it's very nice. But at straight line, uh, the lines is not so fine. That's why I just allow uh, 3000 to be maximum. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is regarding the acceleration of your X and Y axis from standstill. So that's all regarding flashing the Arduino Uno with the correct GRBL firmware, as well as verifying the installation and changing the parameters. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to clean the process, the flight test PDF plan and uh, subsequently generating G code for the ERC time safe CNC machine. So thank you for watching until this far. Please like and subscribe if you have not done so, as well as clicking the notification button. And I'll see you in another video. Thank you. Bye.